Hello, hello, I hope you're having a beautiful day. It's Leslie and it's Tuesday, so that means another edition of Beauty Tip Tuesday. So I am so, so excited because in about a week, my boyfriend and I are going to Cancun, Mexico. We're gonna be staying at an all-inclusive resort. So what I thought I'd do this week is show you some of the beauty and skincare items that I am going to be packing for our trip. So we're gonna be there for a week. Obviously, it's tropical, so I am gonna do a lot of skincare, a lot of sunscreen, and not too much makeup, but I thought it would be fun to kind of share with you what I'm taking in my makeup bag for our week-long trip. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned because I have an announcement at the end of the video about some changes that are coming to Beauty Tip Tuesday here on Channel 6's YouTube page, so you wanna stay tuned for that. Without further ado, these are the skincare and beauty items I plan to take with me on my vacation. Number one, sunscreen, duh. This is a body sunscreen by Rodan and Fields. It is SPF 30. Now, I don't have it with me to show you, but I also plan to take a couple face specific sunscreens that are gonna be at least SPF 50, uh, because I feel like that is really, you know, important to keep your face as protected as possible. If you watched my video from last week, my summer must-haves, I had the other sunscreen that I use a lot in that video, as well as my other uh, sun protector, which is my hat, my wide-brimmed hat, and I'll definitely be taking that with me as well. But since it wasn't a beauty slash skincare item, I didn't put it in this list. But number one, sunscreen. Number two, a good cleanser. Now this is another Rodan and Fields one that I really like. It is a deep exfoliating wash. So it has these little granules in it that really help get all the dirt and the grime off. And I felt like that was really important to take with me because I'm gonna be swimming and sweating and being sandy and you know generally just generally just kind of gritty and gross. Plus it's super important to wash off your sunscreen at night and not sleep in your sunscreen because it can actually age your skin and cause your pores to look a little bit larger because of how large the molecules are in sunscreen. So you gotta make sure you wash it off at the end of the day. Sunscreen's excellent, but you're gonna wanna wash it off or it might make you age a little bit faster. It's not gonna do anything crazy, crazy to your skin, but it might make your pores more noticeable if you don't wash it off. So number two, a good cleanser. Next is kind of the beauty items that I'm taking. So I am planning on doing pretty light makeup. I always say I'm not gonna do makeup and that I don't take anything and that I wish I had brought stuff. You know how that is. So I'm taking the Sephora Bright Future. This is just a broad spectrum SPF tinted moisturizer. Um, I am in shade Walnut. This stuff is great. I've worn it on TV multiple times. It is really light coverage, but it's also a a good instant glow. It says instant moisture and glow, and it was great. Also got it for like two seventy five because it's on super clearance at Sephora. So I'm taking tinted moisturizer. I'm also taking this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion like liquid bronzer. It's a natural glow enhancer, and I got the really deep color so that I can use it as a contour or just use it as a bronzer. Again, it's a liquid. I have a liquid highlighter that is from Makeup Revolution. And of course, just a little blush, powder bronzer. I'll obviously take brushes to put this on as well. Mascara, tried and true, voluminous lash paradise. Can't go wrong with that. And I did pack a couple of skin primers. So I'm not sure if I'll take both of them, but I have the Tarte Poreless that I'm considering taking and then the Cover FX Gripping Primer, which probably won't be the one that goes because like it says, it's a gripping and firming primer, so I felt like that would really help it stay on whenever I am out and about, if we're at the resort and going out to a nice dinner, or if we're going around in town, or just whatever. So I'll probably take one of these, probably not both of them. And when I am having really just a low-key look, I'm just gonna use some of this Maracuja oil. I think I'm saying that right. This is by Tarte. Um, probably just use a little bit of this and put some bronzer on or maybe some bronzer in it to have just a little bit of a glow but really look really, really hydrated. So those are the beauty products that I'm taking. I am super, oh, I never forgot. Cody Airspun, tried and true, loose face powder to help with any, you know, shininess, that kind of thing. Okay, so excited about this product that I just picked up. I got it from Sephora, but you can get it from a lot of different places. It is a 
glow oil. So, so many brands are making glow oils right now. Fenty made one that everyone was really, really freaking out about, the Rihanna one. Um, but that thing is like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. This one was a whole lot cheaper. It has 2.5 fluid ounces, so that means I can fly with it on my carry-on if I want to. I do plan to put this in my check baggage, though. And this thing smells like a tropical paradise. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It has such a cute little packaging. I got the darker color. Let's see what this is called. Where does it say? Copacabana Bronze, that's the color. I have not opened this yet, so. And it comes out in a little squirt. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so you can kind of see how, how like bronze it is. Oh, I wish you could smell it. It smells like a pina colada. Mm, so I'm taking that with me. That's just for my body. I'll do it on my like, collarbones and stuff. And maybe on my shoulder blades as well, just to really give a good like, luminous glow. And what I like about that is it's not too sticky. There's another glow oil that this brand makes that I really wanted to pick up, but they didn't have it. Um, the kicker with that is it has shimmer and a 30 SPF. So I'm dying to try that. I'll probably try it in the next couple of weeks, but it won't make it to camp. Okay, so this is just some skincare items to wrap up. I am so bad when I go on vacation about neglecting skincare. I really am. I want to be that person that's going to do all the epic skincare stuff just like I do at home, but I never do. So I felt like since we're going to this all-inclusive resort, we're not going to be backpacking around like we did when we were in Thailand. I can travel with this stuff. I can easily set it out, you know, on the bathroom sink or something and remind myself, hey, you know, do your skincare. So I brought... A daytime moisturizer also has SPF triple defense treatment with broad spectrum SPF 30. And then I brought my Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. So this is really simple. I'll do this every day. I'm taking a couple more pampering things like self care masks and stuff like that. I have been dying over this. I think you call the name Laneige. Laneige? I don't know. It is their water sleeping mask for all skin. It smells really good. It's this cute little blue color. Love it. So that is a sleeping mask. So what you do is after you do all the rest of your serums and your skincare, you pop that bad boy on, go to sleep, it sucks in to your skin, all the moisture, and then you just wipe it or wash it off in the morning. Also, I have the lip sleeping mask, which I'm really excited to use on the plane because my lips get so dry whenever I'm flying. And then last but not least, I have this radiance mask, which is bright gold. I have posted this on my Instagram page multiple times. It is so bright gold and it really does like a dewy, glowy finish. And then last but not least, I do not plan to get a pedicure. I said in my video last week that I really hate pedicures and I showed you guys some of the nail polishes that I really have loved. And then I remembered, I didn't tell you the colors. Sorry about that. So this is my all time favorite OPI. It is Cajun Shrimp. That is the name of the color. My boyfriend has some Cajun in his background, so I picked this up one time when he was on a trip. I guess I was missing him. And the color is pretty cute, and it is so cute on. It's like this perfect, I screwed that up tight. This perfect, like, corally pink peach color. So I'll probably take this one with me and also OPI Dutch Tulips, which has forever and a day been my all time favorite color for all year round. It's like the perfect cherry red slash pink, a little bit of pink undertones. It's so good. I have it on my toes right now. I'm gonna switch to this because it just is a little bit more vacation-y. And I will take that with me so that I can touch it up because you know, you're in the pool, you're in the ocean, you're walking around with sandals on in the sand and it's just gonna get all nasty and gritty. So I'm gonna take that, skip the pedicure and save some money. Maybe I'll put the money towards like a massage at this resort. I don't know, we'll have to see. So those are all the products that I am planning to take with me on my Cancun trip next week or the week after. I guess it's the week after you'll see this. Yeah. But anyway, I'll be in Cancun with all of these products. And like I said in the beginning of the video, we are changing things up for Beauty Tip Tuesday. So this is going to be the last official Beauty Tip Tuesday. When I come back from vacation, we're going to switch things up and change this to more of a wellness series. I'll still be talking about skincare. I'll probably still be talking about beauty every once in a while, but wellness is so much more my passion. I've really been trying to dive really deep into self-care this year, reading a lot of self-help books, talking to a lot of professionals about mental health and physical health and getting healthy and feeling good and looking good. So that is going to be where I start focusing in the next couple of weeks. 
So if you have any topics you would like to see us cover, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I will put my email address and my Instagram and my Facebook in the comment section below in the little box so that you can reach out that way and let me know what you want to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great week and I'll be thinking about all of you when I'm in Cancun drinking pina coladas on the beach and having a great time. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you next time.